Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video we will go through how to set up a communication between a Siemens S7-1200 PLC and a Wintech HMI using Ethernet port. I have already added my PLC to the project and made some programming in my main block. I also made some tags in a data block that I want to connect with my Wintech HMI. To connect our tags with an HMI we will need to give the tags we want to connect an address. To do so we right click on our data block and click properties. Then we have to uncheck the box which says optimize block access. Then we compile the program. Then we can go to Devices and Networks view. If we double click on our PLC in the project and go to Protection and Security tab. Then we scroll down, we will find a box to check that says Permit access with PutGit communication from remote partner. This box need to be checked to allow communication. If we then click on the Ethernet port on the PLC we can set an IP address to the PLC. It have to be in the same range as the HMI IP address. To import our tags to the HMI we can export them from the project by right clicking on the data block with the tags. Then click on generate source from blocks and click on selected blocks only. Then choose a map you want to keep the tags in. We can now compile and download the program to the PLC. Now let's do the HMI side of things. First choose the correct HMI you are using. Then in the system parameter settings we want to add our PLC. To do so we click on new device. Then we choose the correct device type. S7-1200 Symbolic Addressing Ethernet is the one we use in this tutorial. We then want to click on IP settings and type the IP address we set to the PLC. Next we want to add the tags to the project. To do so we click on the PLC we added, then click on Import Tags. Then we click on Browse and find the map we added our exported data block to. Then just click Import and it will import the tags. When we click the OK button it will ask us which of the tags we want to add. Since I want all my 6 tags I will just select them all. Now we can start designing our HMI. To add an object we can choose from the menu here. I am gonna add a set bit button to my screen. Under the right option we can add a tag from our data block. I will add my start counter tag to this button.
and choose the attribute to momentary. This means the tag will only trigger as long as I press the button. Then I will go to label and choose a good label name for my button. I will make the button a little bigger, then copy and paste two more of them. I will set one of the new buttons to a toggling button. I will now add a numeric display for my counter. At the read write menu we can choose which word or integer tag we want to add. I will change the format to just two numbers since I am only going to make it count up to 50. Next I will add a bit lamp to the screen and choose one of my lamp as the reading tag. If we go to the shape tab we can choose which color we want our lamp to be flashing. I will stick with the regular blue. I will copy one more lamp for the other button and add the correct tag. For this one I will choose green color for the flashing. Now the last thing to do is to download the project to the HMI. If we go to the project tab we will find download PC to HMI. It will ask us to save the project. Here we can select our HMI IP address. Then we simply click on download. I will now monitor the main block in TIA portal and test the HMI connection out. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe.